Hey there everybody, Red X Parasite here, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie Blind. In the last episode, we cleaned out the rest of Mad Monster Mansion here. I still can't get on this roof, although I didn't try to do that in the last episode. But now, what we can do is search the overworld some more and see if we can't find World 8. Grunty's got the lasting charm, okay. So, I, I've given up pretty much all hope of ever getting on top. Oh, okay. Uh, you are a grave. That is going to kill me if I'm not careful. Okay. So, I just killed that guy. So, what's down this hill? Oh, I can open that. Have I always been able to open that? Because otherwise I feel stupid. Maybe I had to defeat the world first or something, I don't know. Oh, let's take out this guy. We'll get some health, because I, I just said I needed it. I died. Well, <laughs> at least I don't have to worry about collecting any notes or anything. So, I'm still at nine lives. So... I, don't, I really have no idea what's going on with the life counter at this point. Okay, I'm just going to ignore this guy since I don't need to deal with him now. Because he killed me. Go away. So, what's inside you? Let me try doing my charge attack. Like so, or... Oh, you know what? I need to be... I probably need to be in my pumpkin form in order to get in there. Because I see... There's a hole, but it looks like it's too small. So, I think we actually have to go back inside Man Monster Mansion in order to do that. So, let's go and do that, shall we? Hello, I'm debating. Do I need to show you guys this? Because you, you've already seen the, the path to it. And everything. So, you know what? I'll, I'll save you the trouble. I'm going to go and change forms, and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. I am now more pumpkinized. I'm not going to be able to attack this guy. Oh, God. Run away. Or jump away. I can't outspeed this guy. That is a problem, which resulted in me losing one health. And then there's this guy, too. They, the developers really just don't like me, do they? Okay, door, what's inside you? Is it some massive secret? Uh, coffins. And a ghost. Wonderful! Because why would it be anything else? Oh, it's... Mumbo. This is new. Uh, what are you doing for me? This has never happened. Okay, so now... Okay, he changed me back. Okay, well that's... Cool, I guess. I just have to start doing stuff without this guy noticing me. Can I do anything with these coffins? Or maybe the one in the middle. Looks cool. That it does. Uh, what does that do? I will hit the switch and find out. Oh, it raises the water level so I can actually get into that area now. Well, if I had to wager, I would say that, that would be the entrance to the next world. But I have not yet found the puzzle for it yet to actually open it, so I need to find that still. Oh, uh, wait, wait a second. Can I hit the switch again? And... No, it's just permanently pressed. Okay, uh... I don't think there's anything else in here. Although, uh... Am I gonna have to switch back to get out of here? That would kind of suck, but that's what it's looking like at this point. Eh, I keep on doing that. I keep on doing the punch by accident. But I don't mean to. Are you changing me back into a pumpkin? Yeah, I kind of figured. Actually, you know what? I have an idea. Of... Uh... Please don't eat me. But I had an idea. There was uh, the path outside this area. Oh, I don't want to head that way. That's where the enemy is. But there was a path that was kind of narrow and very precarious. But there was a hole at the end of it that required me to be small to get into. So I think the pumpkin would be just the right form for that. So I'm going to try to run away from this grave and hope that he doesn't kill me. And we're going to head over there. 
Because I have a feeling that might be where the puzzle for the next world is. So why don't we go take a look? Let's see... Yep, we're gonna have to navigate this again. As far as I can tell, there's no real advantage or disadvantage to using the pumpkin over the normal banjo form. Aside from the, the camera not being cooperative, but that happens for both of them, so... I can't really complain! No! I think the biggest thing I'm sad about out of all that is that I lost my progress. <laughs> Not even that really concerned with losing the life, because my counter seems to be higher than nine. No, really? This is gonna be terrible. Because I was trying to be careful, and that's what happened. And I honestly don't think that just like trying to charge is gonna help me. What the heck? Okay, did I? My life counter is still at 9. Maybe that doesn't actually subtract from my life counter. I really have no idea what's going on with that, though. That's the only problem. Oh my gosh. Okay, I, I might actually take back what I said about this not being as bad as it is. I think I just need to be more careful. I was close that one time. The first time. And I just threw it away. Oh, uh, you know I just realized? I'm gonna have to come back through this, probably. And I wouldn't be surprised if the game just said, Yeah, you fell off, you're going back to this platform instead of the room that you entered it in. Okay, please be what I think you are. Okay, it's a book. Cheeto the spell book. You have found magic cheats I have for you. Hey, book brain, what did you say? You better not give my spells away. Oh, I think they're having a rhyming battle. Spell they get. We sure do, except Kazooie's not really in on it. Enter the code. Red feathers on Sandcastle floor in Treasure Trove Cove world. Help it, help you it will. Hidden in lair are other spell books. We should find them. Okay. Anything else in this room? Is it just him? Shut up! I don't want to hear it. Uh, yeah, it appears he's the only thing that's here. Enter Red Feathers Code on Sand Castle Floor and Treasure Trove Cove. I'm really confused now. Really, really confused now. I thought I was gonna find the next world or the puzzle for it at the very least, and now I'm doing this and I You don't have to keep rubbing it in, game! Oh well, at least it, uh, it took me back to the entrance, so. I think I should go and switch back to my normal form, because I don't. This is the only other place that I can think of that I, that really required me to be in a pumpkin. So I, I have to go switch back, which is going to take a few minutes, so I'll be back. Okay, I am back. So I'm debating what I should be doing right now. Because I have the lead that I just got from this guy, which is the only thing I really know. Uh, that I need to do at this point. Well, I, guess I have I have two other jiggies that I have not yet gotten that I need to go back and get. Which were the one that I got from the Switch from Mad Monster Mansion, and then there's one from Freezy Peak that I still haven't gotten but, uh, from way back when I did that. So there are those two that I need to get, but as far as finding the next world, I have no clue as of right now. So we need to get up there somehow. Something tells me I think I think we're gonna have to use the flight pad. Because I don't really see any other way of getting there, which means we're gonna have to head over to the Freeze Easy Peak area to activate that. 
So I'm gonna head over and do that. Though actually, since I'm heading over to this area anyways, I should probably just head inside Freeze Easy Peak first. And get the one that I didn't get yet, so... I think I'm gonna do that. So we'll just head right inside. So I think I know where it is. So hopefully I won't have to cut away or anything while I'm looking for it. Oh look, notes! It's always awkward coming back to a world when all the notes are back, and then you want to collect them, but you know that there's no points since you already have. You guys are still jerks, I see. Thank you for that. Uh, okay, so it's not here then, I don't think. Let's see, a race. Uh, wait, you're actually gonna race against just me? Is this. Oh, there we go. The shoes. So this was it. That's weird. I was expecting the shoes to actually be visible beforehand, but. Apparently they weren't. So it's the same exact race, but just with shoes. Does that mean I'm gonna have to recollect them at some point? Or is it just a straight shot? These are gonna run out, aren't they? Or well, maybe not. This is actually, I think, I think this is more difficult than just doing on the sled. I think his AI is better. Speeding me, and I'm also going the wrong direction, which isn't really help. Okay, well I've lost. Okay, well, is the game gonna kill me for this, or hurt me? Because the game does that. Okay, well, uh, this might be bad. <laughs> this might take a while. I'll give it one more shot on camera, and then I'll probably just fail montage. I just have to keep pressure on the joystick. Can't slip up at all. You saw how badly it went when that happened. What is he doing to actually like go faster than it was before, aside from not... I don't know, making unnecessary movements. He just... He's still right on my tail. And he's actually beating me now. Like, I have to be able to be... To be able to catch up to him at some point. Oh, that is not fair! What the heck? Really? Well, I have absolutely no hope of winning now. Yeah, I actually was closer than I thought I would be, but uh, I still failed. But now you've seen me go through the entire race, so I can just cut ahead to when I actually succeed. Oh my gosh, that was ridiculous. My heart is pounding. So... That was... Maybe it wasn't as bad as I felt it was, but... Jeez, that felt ridiculous. Okay, well that means we've gotten everything to the finally. It only took us long enough. Oh look, I can collect another life I don't need. Let's do it! And then miss. Of course, that's one piece of business that we have now taken care of. We can just head straight for the exit then. And then the other, the other one is we have to go and get the jiggy outside. We we'll go and do that. I don't know what they did with that AI, but it felt like I could not shake him whenever I was in front of him. And we will just head out now. I missed that note. Oh no! It's terrible. What have I done? And I missed another one. All you purists out there can kill me for not getting all 100 in revisiting this world. But in the interest of time, I'm not going to do that. Just imagine every time you revisited a world, going and collecting everything again. That would be terrible. 
I'm glad I don't have that kind of OCD. I don't actually need these feathers. What I do need, however, is to get back to the switch with the running shoes. So we're gonna need to... Oh, actually, no, we don't need to go up another level. We just need to go here. Alright, now we have to do more running. My, my favorite thing in the entire... world... of this game is doing these runs. So the timers are just... Uh, don't get in my way. Oh my gosh, I didn't think that was going to work. Okay, let's head over and get our jiggy. Let's not mess this up. Oh, no! You have to be kidding me, really? Well, I think I was supposed to do the attack on it, and I only realized that after I had run into it and it was too late. Which means I'm going to have to go back and... And uh, do all of that again. So you know what? I'll I'll save you the trouble. Be back in just a minute. Okay. Okay, there we go. And collect it. All right. Well, that was kind of hard, actually not gonna lie. I was I was really, really stressed about it. I don't know if you can tell. So I guess the only lead we really have to go on is going back to Treasure Trove Cove and doing red feathers. Oh, yeah, the, the sand castle that took me for... E I am going the wrong way, I think. No, wait. No, I am going the right way. <laughs> There's no other way out of there. But that puzzle that took me really, really long to figure out because I didn't realize that the water wasn't supposed to be there. Okay, I need to head this way, I think. Yeah, in order to go to Treasure Trove Cove. Ah, up the slope. I don't even know, I don't think that was necessary, but... Oh well, I did it. What are you gonna do about it? Huh? Huh? Okay, down the hill here. I actually need to re collect some of my health, and that is not the way to do it. Here. Okay. Sir? Sir, do you know who I am? Clearly he doesn't. Also, he's dead, so how could he know? So we need to head back inside, then. Oh, we can, I can get some more health from this guy. If I don't miss and then end up right inside of him. So I guess I still got a net profit of one, though. Can't complain about that. See, now that the enemies are easier to defeat, I can actually get health back. Imagine that. that That's just preposterous. You know, recovering health, not dying. What kind of world do we live in? One where I don't die. It's nice. Oh, do I have to... I have to drain the water again. Uh, which means I have to go up and see Mr. Bucket. Man, this is... I know I've only played this not not all that long ago, but it's still incredibly nostalgic for whatever reason. Just how powerful this game is. Okay, here you go. Have have some pebbles. Leak, you patched up now. Empty water for bear. Thank you very much, sir. Oh hey, it kills that guy. That's incredibly nice of it. Okay, let's not jump down into a really deep pit. That would be a bad idea. So now we need to head inside. What intrigues me is that the book called it a cheat code. Okay, well, apparently that's how I defeat that guy. Wait a second, did it? It didn't change the letters, did it? Maybe I haven't been here long <laughs> in a while to remember, but... It seems like they're different, to me at least. Oh boy, I have to remember which ones I've hit. That could be problematic, because I, I don't think I'm allowed to repeat stuff. So I've hit that E, unless... is that the only E? That is the only E. So I think I do have to. Feathers. Just imagine if I did that for the entire spelling out of this 
cheat code. Wait, was that it? Did I just... Oh, I just got an expansion. Okay. Well, that's nice and all. But did I really need that? I mean, it, it's cool. I can carry a hundred red feathers now, but... I guess that's it. Well, and then... Does that mean... He said there were other books out there, so you know what? I would suspect that those other books are other upgrades to, to other things, so what else could I carry more of? Eggs, I guess. I mean, I can already carry a hundred of those, so I don't know how helpful that would be. A gold feather expansion might be helpful, actually. Just because that is a really low amount that I have only 10, and they don't last very long either. So, that I could see actually being useful. The only problem, though, is that the amount of situations where the gold feathers are actually useful is kind of limited. Just because you have the piranha-infested waters, or the uh, snake, or the eel-infested sand, or... The icy water that it does nothing against, or yeah, it doesn't protect you from, so. And those were all the times I thought, hey, invincibility might be a good idea, and then it wasn't. So you know what? This episode's been going along enough, and I still haven't found the next world. It's kind of bad, or at least the... You know what I mean, the puzzle. So, we're gonna have to keep looking in the next episode, which is something that hasn't happened yet. Oh god. Guys, what's going on? What terrible new world is this? Alright. Red X Parasite, signing out.